Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have created this look right here. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like, comment and subscribe. Okay, so thank you once again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like it. I will be doing a tutorial with my friend soon. So that will be up. That might be my next video if I don't do the swatch one first. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hi. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get some tape, which looks like this. And I'm gonna just rip off some, just a little strip, like that. And then we're just gonna place it on the corner. Why we do this is so that when we put on our eyeshadow, we get a sharp line. Okay, so now, going with my Morphe 350 palette, we're gonna grab, I think I can open it. I'm gonna use this color. That is gonna be my transition shade. So I'm just gonna put some on my MAC 224 brush. And we're just gonna place this just above the crease. The reason why you use a transition shade is so that your eyeshadows blend out because we're going to be doing a lot of blending. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this this colour here with the same brush and I'm going to go just slightly under where I put that colour. Now we're gonna go in with a slightly darker color, which is this color here. And we're just gonna place that just underneath the second color that we just done. So now I'm gonna change my brush and I'm gonna get a slightly smaller one which is the MAC 217 brush and we're gonna grab this color right here and we're just gonna take this one more in the crease because we want to now start giving our crease some definition Now we're gonna go in with this color here, which is like a brown. And we're gonna, again, put that right in the crease because now we wanna try and darken it. I'm gonna change brushes. I'm gonna go for a slightly more dense brush. This is the 239 brush, which looks like that. So I'm gonna pick up a slightly more darker brown. I'm gonna go for this one. So just below all of those other colors and on the lash line. So I'm just going to grab the brown which is right next to this one which looks like this and we're going to just go more in the corner with that just right on the end just to darken that bring it slightly up because we're going to wing it out So 
So now we're gonna go back in with the 217 brush and we're gonna grab one of any of the first kind of orangey tones just to help blend this blend this out. I've gone in with the darker one. Then I'm gonna grab a slightly lighter one just to blend out the top of it. You don't wanna see where it starts or finishes. So now I'm gonna grab a black. The Morphe 350 palette doesn't have a black in it. I'm gonna grab my Makeup Geek palette and I'm just gonna use my black with any precision brush. I'm using a pencil brush that I've got in, my, in one of my Urban Decay kits. And we're just gonna put that on a lash line. Again, start off with a little build it up. Wow, it's the water. See now, because it, it's watering, it's not blending. So I'm gonna leave that one and come back to that eye before I mess it up, and then I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna take this off. This. And as you can see, we have a nice line. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, perfect, because we're going to clean it up with concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to get my foundation which is the MAC Studio Fix in NC44 and then I'm going to grab my MAC Oval 6 brush which looks like this Okay, so that's on now. So now I'm gonna get my, wait, actually I forgot to wet my beauty blender. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. Okay, so I recently purchased this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which a lot of people um, really love. So I wanted to try it. Mine's in the color 35. Let me just put my phone on silent because someone keeps on messaging me. Damn, man, I'm trying to film that, what the fuck? You can get it from Boots Super Drugs. I got mine from Boots. It's got their hair on my face. So I'm just gonna put, put this here. Hmm. To be fair, I feel like I should've got a lighter color. I want it to be slightly lighter, so I'm gonna mix mine with the Urban Decay. Where, where, where are you? Where are you? You. The Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color black, which is way too light for me. But I feel like we can mix it in with this because I feel like. Is way too dark, you know. So then we're gonna get our dark beauty blender. Gonna start blending this in. So to set that, I'm gonna use my banana powder, which looks like this. So I recently bought 
the Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner from Maybelline. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try this out, out, out. Okay, so I'm gonna get an angled brush, love that one. I'm using the MAC 266 brush, which looks like this. Apparently this is meant to be really good, so dark. So let's see. I'm not gonna fast with it anymore because you know what when you overdo it that's when you make mistakes so I'm just gonna get my Maybelline master ink liquid lab and now I'm just gonna go over what I just done so tricky even for the professionals don't get twisted so now we are going to move on to the bottom lash line so I'm gonna grab a pencil brush I'm going to be using my Mac 219 brush which does like this and I'm going to grab the lighter shade I'm gonna grab this color here and just start to smoke out the bottom lash line. So now I'm gonna get that black from Makeup Geek and I'm gonna, gonna be using this brush which is my which is my MAC 212 brush. And I'm gonna just put this in my lash line. Literally try and be as precise as you can. Now I'm gonna go in and get my pencil brush, which is this one. It's so annoying because it doesn't focus. I'm gonna get this brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a brown, slightly darker brown to help smoke out that bottom line. Now I'm gonna get my black eyeliner. I got the definitely black Pro Long Wear Eyeliner. And we're just gonna put this in our waterline. Okay, so what we are gonna do now to make our eyelids pop is grab a little bit of Fix Plus, which is that. And then we're going to grab our 295 brush from MAC, which looks like this. Spray the brush. And then we're going to pick up, let me just show you. And we're going to pick up this shade right here. And the reason why we spray the brush is so that it intensifies the colour. Now really I should have put this on first, I've actually, if I'm honest, I've totally forgot until I was looking at my eyes and I was like, what is missing? And then I realised it is the lid colour. There. So before you put on your eyeliner, put this colour on. Don't do what I just done. Well you can, 
かあそうか done okay so now I'm gonna grab my MAC extended play mascara I'm just gonna go over the bottom lashes. Let me just get the smaller mirror so I'm not out of shot. Cause this is why I'm always out of shot and I have to refilm is when I get to these parts and I have to, I'm like this. So you can't see. So you just wanna coat your bottom lashes nice and evenly. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit now and put it on my Top lashes, I'm gonna put on lashes. So we're just gonna coat them so they blend in. I'm not really a lash girl, if I'm honest. I just can't be bothered with it. It just, I think if I, oh my God, it's almost like you stop breathing when you're doing your mask. <laughs> well, it's almost like I stop breathing when I do my mascara. I can't even bloody talk and do it at the same time. What I was saying, I'm not really a lash girl, so, when I put on lashes, it takes me just a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna do this off camera. So before I go, I'm gonna use the House of Lashes in the style Iconic. When I've done it, I will come back. Okay, so I've just applied my lashes and they look like this. I absolutely love these lashes. I think they're so nice. Like I would be rocking these all the time watch I'm like I'm not a lash girl but these these can convert anyone trust me so I'm gonna go in with my MAC dark deepest mineralized skin finish and bronze up the face my hair is a mess I haven't even done my hair yet right now to contour I'm going to take this stippling brush, which is the MAC 180 brush, and I'm going to take my, where are you? Oh, I should be more organized, then I won't be looking around for everything every minute. There it is. I'm going to take my Studio Fix in NW58, which is that and this is this looks like this this is quite this is really dark this is what I use for my chocolate girls to contour but I do like it on myself I only use a little bit so like that then again on this side Now we're gonna go back in with the buffing brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna blend this out. I start off with a little bit at first because this shit is dark for my skin tone so I don't wanna make more work for myself. It's always better to start off with less and then build it up depending on how intense you want it. If you're wondering why I keep on looking over there, it's because I have set my, um, I've made my laptop my monitor to help me minimise the amount of time that I am out of shot. So that is why I keep on looking there. I'm just going to put a bit of the bronzer in between here because this will make our lips look fuller. You can see already. Just made the lips look fuller. And if you add it at the bottom, underneath, it will add a shadow which will make your lip appear bigger. <laughs> and who doesn't want big lips lately? 
so now we are going to go on with the with a blush and then highlight and then lips and then we're done i'm going to be using the morphe palette it, which is the 9b palette it's a blush palette I feel like I'm gonna go for this one here. So what I do is I smile, because I only want my blush to be on the apples of my cheeks. I don't really um, tend to bring it all the way up here. I, I like to just leave it here. I mean, each to your own. I just don't like that whole blush being dragged up there. Nah, it's not me. And if you do drag up your blush, please blend it out because I hate when I see ladies and they have this big blush just going all the way up to your ear. Why? No, 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 no. I blend it out. So I just leave my blush on the apples of my cheeks as you can see. Now this, I recently bought this. This is really good very all of the blushes are pigmented I like literally I only use a little bit and you can see see this on my cheeks like literally I just tapped on there like that any 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 wings okay so for highlight where are you I'm going to use my sunbeam from benefit which looks like this So now, to make my highlight more intense, I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. I'm going to be using my 224 brush from MAC. Now to make your highlight more intense, spray your brush with the Fix Plus, like so. Grab the product and then blend that in. Now I'm going to go move on to my lips. I'm going to be using my Dose of Colours liquid lipstick in the colour Cork. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But I'm going to outline my lips. This colour is so, this colour is just so, oh, it's gorgeous. And I absolutely love it. I really struggle sometimes with lips. I flip in, it's just... It's my least favourite part, put it that way. So now we're going to grab the cork and we're just going to apply that all over the lip. That would do. Now to finish off the look, I'm going to grab my um, makeup setting spray by Urban Decay. This this stuff is amazing. This will keep your makeup on all day. And then yeah, so that is the finished look. So I hope you guys have liked it. I hope you guys try it and recreate it. It's not as hard as it might look. I don't think so anyway. I absolutely love these lip colours. I will be doing a swatch video because actually I will be doing a little kind of review because I've bought quite a few bits lately. So I will do a video on that to tell you guys whether I like it, whether you should buy it, whether you should give it a miss, you know, like all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please like, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.
拜。